Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel back. I uh, just uh, wanted to unveil the finished electrolyzer cell. I've, um, as you can see, I have held it together with a number of elastic bands as the glue was setting. I had to make sure that the side walls were pinched inward against the plates that are lined within within the slots as the uh, as the adhesive was drying on the end caps which I've created for this device as well. You can get a, get a look at that there. There's the end caps. Let me adjust my mic here. I don't think it's loud enough. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to take these elastic bands off here and unveil. Hopefully the plates won't fall out. They should f they should be fitting in there snugly enough where they where they do not. Now this has been queuing queuing curing all afternoon. Uh, it is a 24-hour cure, so I'm going to let it finish curing overnight. I want to make sure that it is fully cured before I start doing anything else with the with the electrolyzer cell. pretty well to the rubber band. Hopefully the acrylic pieces will stick using it just as well. And there you have it. This is the completed electrolyzer cell. Well, almost completed. Uh, along the bottom I'm going to be drilling rows of 1 8 inch holes in between the plate. And when I set it in the tank of electrolyzer, uh, um, in the tank of electrolyte, it will be on standoffs. There will be a couple of couple of standoffs at the bottom that will hold this up maybe, I don't know, quarter of an inch, half an inch off the bottom so that the electrolyte can flow, uh, be drawn in through convection as the bubbles rise off the plates, should draw fluid in through the holes at the bottom. Uh, I would like to note that uh, this does deviate slightly from the recommended construction uh, that uh, was um, detailed by Ironhead at the overunity.com website forum. Uh, his recommendation was to simply create a frame at the bottom. His, his belief is that uh, the leakage current around the back of the plates, between the plates, that occurs when it's just submersed in an open solution outweighs the fact that um, you isolate the cells electrically. Electrically isolated cells generally produce uh, more <coughs> more gas for the for a given amount of input than than cells that are completely open. But uh, it is felt that uh, the most fluid travel traveling up through the plates to dislodge the bubbles from the plates as they're being produced. Uh, creates greater gas, gas generation than by electrically isolating the plate. So we're going to find out. Uh, I should be able to come fairly close to an open bottom rather than having a frame which is only a half an inch all the way around. Um, I'll be having, like I said, the eighth inch holes drilled between the plates and that should allow enough and I can then experiment myself by blocking some or all of the holes and we'll see what effect that has on the results. The whole point of this test fixture is to create a platform on which to experiment. And we want everybody to experiment on their own. See what's best for them. Um, now I should have around here some two by three plates that I said. Oh, here they are. Okay. I'm just going to slide those into the end slots. Ooh, iron head. These are nice and snug. I like this. <coughs> In fact, maybe a little too snug. Hmm. Okay. Well, that one's a little tight. I'll have to uh, take my little hand tool and grind that channel out just a little bit. This one goes in very nicely. As does that one. So 
this one's the anomaly. Let's see if I can get that out. Well, I'll work on that later, but you get the idea of how this is supposed to go together. The plates that you see that extend beyond... Oh, I know why. It's because I forgot to take the... Uh, <laughs> The plastic backing off the off the plates. All right, my bad. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, uh, the plates on the on the end in the middle is where I attach my electrodes to the electrolyzer. The middle is negative, and the two outer plates become positive. The the uh, extension of the plates above the surface of the of the uh, neutral plates in between gives me a good large surface area to put nice heavy duty electrical clamps on it to get a good electrical connection and be able to deliver a lot of current to this if that's my desire to test. Uh, when we come back I'll have uh, there we go. I'll have this with uh, all of the holes drilled in the bottom and hopefully we'll also be able to show you um, the unit submerged in a tank of electrolyte. We'll be discussing that a little bit later. How to prepare the electrolyte, how to precondition the cells properly for uh, most efficient gas production, etc., etc., etc. I'm going to put a little bit more urethane adhesive along the inside, put a bead here, just to strengthen that up a little bit. I want to make sure that this thing doesn't come apart. There've been a lot of stories on the on the forum about wives complaining to their husbands that their little experiment is leaking all over the floor, eating through the hardwood. I don't need that kind of grief, so <laughs> I'm going to make sure that this thing holds together very well, and we'll let this dry overnight. There you have it. Zero Fossil Fuel signing off for now. We will uh, continue the process tomorrow and uh, hopefully show you some, maybe even begin some uh, hydrogen production tomorrow with a couple of uh, demonstrations of some explosions and popping and whatnot. Have a good evening. Zero Fossil Fuel signing out.